fellows who are back in this time. We have a nice laptop to repair. This is a Lenovo IdeaPad 3. A classic laptop, not very hard to be repaired. Let's check the customer email. The customer is a computer business. Uh, hi, sorry, I have another one for you. A customer bought in their Lenovo IdeaPad 3 and is completely dead. It looks to be a shorted power rail, 20 volts in, but no 3.3 on the power button. A gentleman called David. Now, let's see if we can help David. Uh, I'm not going to plug the power because the email is strange. Actually, we don't have screws. So, uh, what is shorted? The 20 volts power rail or the 3.3? If the 3.3 is missing, <laughs> that's bad because that's mean we can have like a shorted uh, EC chip. Yeah. The laptop is open. Yeah, it's a small classic uh, motherboard. The battery is still plugged and we still have a seal here. Huh? Let's try to repair this letter without breaking the seal. What do you think? Let's unplug the battery. Let's check the main power rail for short. So main power rail. We have coils, MOSFET. Uh, MOSFETs, capacitor, coil, yeah? So capacitor, main power rail, zero ohms. Mm -hmm. So actually the 20 volts main power rail is shorted. Checking on a different place just to double check uh, uh, if indeed it's shorted. Here you have a power supply, the charging one. Of course here is not shorted. Well, here it is. Then, uh, wait a second, I remember. I remember this design because I remember this sticker. We had a job like a few weeks ago and was a capacitor exactly here under the sticker. I think this one, if I remember. You remember we had one like this. So here we have another capacitor, zero ohms. So clearly, uh, the main power is shorted. Let's bring the thermal camera. Mm -hmm. Now we have thermal camera under the microscope. Great. Let's switch to microscope. Fantastic. We need light. So we have light. We have the thermal camera. I mean, we can't really see too much on the, on the microscope. But we have a white picture on the thermal camera. You can see. Yeah. So I'm going to lower the voltage. Yeah, that's beautiful, you know, hands-free. And we have thermal camera. So we have like one volt. Let's lower the current to about two amps. And we are coming with current exactly here. Uh, yeah, here is the plus. Check that. Check on the thermal camera. You see it? Check that. Check that. What is that? So here somewhere... Ha! Exactly what I said. We had one before. We had one before with exactly same capacitor. So coming with current exactly here. Actually, I'm not going to come here. I'm going to come here. Oh, maybe here. Exactly on the probe. Check here. You can see on the thermal camera? Yeah. So the capacitor is getting hot. Yeah, the capacitor, it is shorted. And that's the problem. Now let's remove that capacitor. You know what? I should you say hello to my little friend because we have a lot of plastic here. But we are fine. We didn't melt the plastic. So the capacitor is out. The main power rail is still short. That's my question. So the main power rail is not short. Huh? What do you think about that? The thermal camera, it was a big upgrade for uh, for my setup. We can put back the sticker. Good. We can plug the battery. Uh, we can plug a charger. Let's plug a charger. 19 volts. More current. So plug in the charger. 
And he's taking like 900 milliamps, the fan is spinning. Mm -hmm. What do you think about that? And we're already waiting for the picture. I didn't reset the bias, but probably someone else reset the bias. 1.7 amps. And we have picture! Check there! Huh? What do you think about that? I don't even have like five minutes of recording. Can't believe. Ah. Okay, we have to spend like three more minutes. This will be like eight minutes so I can upload it. So? Hmm? It was a hard job? Yeah, it was an easy pizza, yeah. Yeah, it was an easy pizza. Um, I seen on the comments, uh, we uploaded in the last period of time. The last video was... Uh, the last video... The last video was a screen connector, then it was a drop of water on the motherboard, we clean it. Uh, just try to make clear, yeah? Most of my jobs are uh, hard to impossible. But on a real shop, yeah, most of the jobs, they are easy to medium. It will not be fair. I mean, I don't want to depress people just to make them believe actually the jobs are actually all are like hard jobs or medium to hard or impossible. So I do have a lot of repairs. Also, I have recording like hard jobs. But if I'm uploading only hard jobs, uh, the people they will get depressed if they will think, okay, that's the actually you know a repair uh, business uh, life, and that's not true. On a on a real repair shop, you will get with basic knowledge, basic knowledge, you will get repaired probably over seventy, probably even eighty percent of the laptops they are coming for uh, for repair. So when I have easy jobs, yeah, when I have jobs like this one, definitely I will upload that video. If I have a hard job, most likely I will not upload that video. On the other hand, you have to understand the YouTube. So I'm working like a hard job, like two hours. I have two hours of recording. Then I need at least two hours of editing. Then let's say the result is like one hour video. I have to watch that video one hour after that to be sure everything is fine. So a job, a hard job, it will, it will take you one day. The work on that, uh, on that repair, then editing and uploading to YouTube. We have over 1,400 uh, videos and a lot, there are a lot of hard jobs there. But I will lie. Yeah, if I will upload only hard job and say, look, that's that's how really the business is, because I don't want to scare the people. I want to bring more people into the repair business. The more we are, the powerful we are. When we have a voice, then we can change things, like the manufacturers sharing the schematics, sharing the firmers and yeah, the other stuff. Okay, yeah, this was a, this was a short one. I'm going to stop now. I will say uh, thank you for watching. You know, like, subscribe if you like the video. And see you on the next one. Bye. And if you have this model, this is a common fault. Yeah. So have in mind, if you have this model, you take the sticker out and you'll see a ceramic capacitor. So this is the second uh, laptop with exactly the same capacitor, exactly on the same spot. Bye.